Hi, my name is Mary Batten. I'm the author of Sexual Strategies, How Females Choose Their Mates. This book is about the powerful role that female mate choice has played and continues to play in evolution. The way in which females choose their mates influences how males look and how they behave. Believe it or not, female mate choice has even influenced the size and shape of penises, especially in insects. Insect penises are coiled and plumed and barbed. They're what one scientist calls a virtual Swiss army knife of gadgetry. Mate choice is universal throughout the animal kingdom. Every living thing is genetically programmed to reproduce. However, since females make the greater biological investment in offspring, they're the choosier sex. Males compete, sometimes violently, sometimes to the death, to gain the resources to attract females. This is really important for males because if a female doesn't choose a male to mate with her, he leaves no offspring. In biological terms, he's a genetic zero. Now you might think that mate choice is just limited to sexual behavior, but it's not. Mate choice and the dynamics of mate choice between males and females influences every aspect of animal society and it influences every aspect of human society. It influences our culture, our traditions, our religion, and our politics. And we've seen that lately in the political arena. Mate choice operates throughout every species, from fruit flies to humans. And in case you're wondering, females throughout the animal kingdom want pretty much the same thing. If you're a female bird, you want a male who's going to help you build the nest, who's going to help take care of the babies, and who's going to protect you from predators. And women want pretty much the same thing. The resource that's attracted to females varies from culture to culture, and it defines what that culture means by wealth. In some cultures, wealth, for example, might be livestock, pigs, sheep, or goats. In our society, however, it's money in the bank. And females from pre-industrial to industrial societies go for males with resources. And in societies where marriages are arranged, their parents look for a groom whose family has resources. You can read more about female mate choice and the impact it has on every aspect of life in my book, Sexual Strategies, How Females Choose Their Mates. You can find it at barnesandnoble.com, at amazon.com, and at iuniverse.com. More information is on my website, www.marybatten.com. And also on the website for the book, www.sexualstrategies.com. I hope you'll get a copy. It may be the most important book you'll ever read.